probably noticed that I basically have the same makeup and hair and like you can still hear the mowing. I've been pre-filming so that way I can get caught up and like actually have videos ready to post for you guys. So yeah. We Gucci! Yeah! Hello everyone! So today I'm going to be doing a what's on my bookshelf. What? Oh my gosh! This is a new video. This is a new spectrum I've gone into. I've decided to show you guys what I have on my bookshelf because one, it was requested a while, oh, like last year by my sister actually. So shout out to you, Sarah. But it was requested last year because I have a bookshelf and I'm an avid reader. I don't have time for that in college, but when I'm not in college, I love to read. I read all the time. I have a lot of books on my bookshelf and I just decided, why not? And if you have never seen my face before, hello, my name is Catherine Christian, and I would love it for you guys to subscribe to my channel. The link is down below at the end of this video, right up here. And let's just get right on into the video. This is my bookshelf. It was organized differently. Like, I always have to organize it differently because I always keep on getting new books. And before, I had it, like, all organized nicely. And this, like, this area right here was books that, like, by color... Like it was like really aesthetically pleasing colored books, but I just got more books and I had to reorganize them to like make them all fit. So they're kind of more like by where they fit. On this side, we have series kind of things. Doc's Purpose series, Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants series. This is just all John Green books. I have the Hunger Games series, which I just realized are in the wrong order. I have the Shatter Me series and then it's just like random books. And then I have the Maze Runner series, Nicholas Sparks books. These are all like my tiny books that can fit right here. Some of the Bourne series, just Shakespeare books. And then on this side, I have a lot of Sarah Dessen books right here. The Stork series by Wendy Del Sol. She actually lives a few blocks away from me, so that's kind of cool. And then I just I like have a whole bunch of random books. Luminescence by Brandon Wolfel, which I had to put sideways because yeah, I don't know like how in-depth you guys want me to go on this. So I have Girl Boss by Sophia Amoroso, Note to Self by Connor Frantum, My Life is Able by Ava Katowski, Make Your Mind Up by Bethany Moda, and 12 Rules for Life and Antidote to Chaos by Jordan B. Peterson. Those are all like biography books that actually I feel like help me figure out my life and they're very good for that. My favorite book actually isn't on here right now. I don't even own my favorite book. It's called One Summer by David Baldacci. I read it in seventh grade and still to this day like it struck me how like amazing it is. I literally could not put it down during the last few chapters of it. I like my dad was like dinner's ready and I totally skipped dinner because I wanted to finish the book because it was so intense. A uh, series that I really recommend for you guys to read is the Shatter Me series. It's really cool. It's about a girl who has powers where she can't like touch people otherwise she like hurts or kills them. It says, I have a curse. I have a gift. I'm a monster. I'm more than human. My touch is evil. My touch is power. I am their weapon. I will fight back. No one knows why Juliet's touch is fatal, but the reestablishment has plans for her. Plans to use her as a weapon, but Juliet has plans of her own. After a lifetime without freedom, she's finally discovering a strength to fight back for the very first time and to find a future with the one boy she thought she'd lost forever. In this electrifying debut, Terrera Maffey presents a riveting dystopian world, a thrilling superhero story, and an unforgettable hero. So what I think is really cool about this book is that throughout it, like, you see how it's, like, crossed off. It, like, does that like in the book kind of like she's like writing about her life and everything honestly a good portion of the books on my shelf i haven't even read the book i'm currently on is sherlock holmes volume one the complete novel sherlock holmes it's like the literally all the sherlock holmes mysteries in two books because the other one is right there so yeah that that's my bookshelf <laughs> Comment down below if you guys want me to bring back the book recommendations that I had put in my description box because I would seriously would love to recommend books to you guys. I seriously love reading. I honestly read anything with a good plot line. So that was my bookshelf. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below your favorite book so that way I can read some of you guys' favorite books. I want comment section filled with book recommendations galore. I have a whole bunch of books on my shelf that I haven't read yet, but like, you know, you're gonna do the thing where you're gonna buy books and not read them and then read other. Yeah, make sure to follow my Instagram and Twitter. They are right here in the link down below as well. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel. The link is down below at the end of this video right up here. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.